What's up YouTube? Chevy Brother checking back in with you guys. I know it's been a little minute since I made a video. Um, I know on my last video I was saying that this car was for sale, but I've decided to change my mind and actually keep the car. What this is is a slash 4x4. Uh, I did a low center gravity conversion on it. Uh, it started life as a Telluride actually. Um, I pulled the front and rear axles out of the Telluride and uh, did some upgrading and uh, we'll go through this truck and I'll show you what's going on. Actually, this car I should say, but I'll show you guys what I got in it and what's going on and, you know, talk about my plans and stuff for the car. So let's get into it. All right. You know, like I said, this is the Slash 4x4 LCG kit. Um, this thing has been dyed blue. Uh, this is, I actually use the, um, the RIT dye on here. I got some pictures and stuff for that. I might attach those at the end of the video. But yeah, this is actually the Aquamarine uh, die from RIT. Uh, die of the chassis. You know, it came out. You know, it looks pretty good. Uh, dry shaft. I got a Techno Big Bone dry shaft in here. Uh, got the dry shaft cuffs, you know, front and rear. You know, we still, you know, working on the car. You know, trying to get everything dialed in and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, this motor is only in here for mock-up. This is actually uh, the Castle Creations 1415 motor. Uh, this motor was actually in my Rustler. Um, I ran this motor at uh, the Run DMV. I did 63 mile an hour with a mild tune-up on it. Uh, yeah, we got a different motor we're going to put in there. You know, I'm, I'm shopping around to see, you know, what I'm going to put in here. But uh, we haven't decided yet. Uh, got the Saga Custom RC uh, motor mount in here. Uh you see, I got that in there. Let me give you guys a better shot of that. Uh, got the plastic motor mount down here. Got them in there. Uh, I actually got the Saga Custom RC. Uh, get my finger in here. Yeah, I actually got the Saga Custom RC. Uh, <clears throat> what is it? This is actually a spur gear adapter. Uh, this is the three millimeter one. What you can actually do is take a spur gear, convert it over, and use it as a pinion gear. So actually, in my gearbox here, I got two spur gears. And I'm not going to show you guys a ratio. Uh, you got to figure that out on your own. As far as shocks, um, these shocks came off of a Revo 3.3. Uh, I got the blue label springs on here for now. You know, I haven't ran the car or anything yet. So it's just, you know, mocked up for setup right now. Uh, you know, but that's what it is. I got those front and rear, you know, blue stripe all the way around. Um, we haven't ran the car. I'm still, you know, setting the suspension up and all that good stuff. But yeah, I got those front and rear, um, you know, got the VXL camera links on here. You know, I'm still setting that up, getting that all good. Axles are bone stock. Uh, haven't really done anything special with those. Um, axle carriers, those are bone stock too. You know, I pulled all that off the Telluride right, right now because, you know, again, I'm on a budget. So I'm just... You know, pull everything. I swapped everything off to tell you right that I bought. That was actually my parts truck because these divs are actually expensive to buy. You know, when you go into uh, eBay and whatnot, trying to buy them separately. You know, the front one's like 30 bucks that I've seen the cheapest. The front one is like $35, $40. So you're going to spend $80 and just diffs alone. I picked up a whole parts truck for $130. So that's how I got most of my drivetrain. You know, I had to go through it, grease it up, you know, put new bearings in it, freshen it up, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's what I got going right there. As far as tires, I got uh, GRPs all the way around. Uh, they're the S3 compound. Again, I don't know. These, the rear ones, I pulled off my Rustler. That's why they're a little dirty, you know, because that, that was from Run DMV. Shout out to you guys. Uh, you know, Lamont, Stealth, RCMD, uh, Street, all you fellas, what's up? You know, I'll be back. You see, I'm building me, I'm in a lab building a machine here, but I'm, I'm going to be back and show y'all what's really going on. But as far as my hub adapters, uh, these are MIP 17 millimeter hub adapters. Um, I personally, I've been doing some, actually, I've been sitting on the sidelines going to Speed University, actually. Uh, I took a couple notes from you fellas at the Run DMV. You know, I've been watching a couple videos and stuff, you know, because I'm trying to build me a good car here. Because uh, I know my Rustler was kind of raggedy and that thing really embarrassed me. So that's why I really just been sitting on the sidelines, you know, doing my homework, doing my research so I could build me a really good car here. Um, as far as A-arms, these are the RPM A-arms. These actually came on my Telluride that I got. Uh, so what I did, all I did was keep them and slap them right back on here. Um, thinking about dyeing them black, you know, let me know. If it looks better red, you know, as far as on the camera, 
you know, let me know. If it looks better black, hey, shoot me a message, let me know. Uh, I still got to get the uh, the rally front bumper for this. I still got to get that. I still got to get body mounts. I still haven't even picked a body yet, actually, because uh, really what I was going to do was sell this car and actually get another car. Uh, I was looking at <clears throat> a couple different other ones, but, you know, as far as cost and all that, I decided to just stay with this and uh, see what I can do with this here and then go, you know, see what I can do and probably go up from there. Uh, that's about all I got in the car right now. Um, you know, I'm still deciding on uh, what power system I want to put in here. Uh, I did put, however, put this motor in here, ran the car with this motor, just, you know, test hit. And I had a brand new Turnigy uh, 4S battery, 5,000 milliamp. It was a uh, 25C burst battery. And uh, <laughs> the way this thing is geared, I didn't have a BEC, cap pack, none of that. So that battery is trash. So I got to go ahead and get another battery and, uh, you know, reconvene on my electronics and see what I can do here. Because, you know, the electronics I had in my Rustler, it just ain't going to cut it, with, you know, with the big gears and whatnot. So... I had to actually, you know, try to find me a motor that's really going to push this car the way I want it to. Um, I think that's about it. That's everything I got done to the car so far. Uh, that's it for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep on seeing, keep wrenching. Peace.